Hey guys, check down below in the description box and you will find out all the information you want to know about why I drink this, what the benefits are, and all that good stuff. I'm going to make an acai bowl this morning. I'm just going to use this Fresh Start smoothie blend. Uh, it's organic and it's a mixture of blueberries, strawberries, raspberries, kale, and spinach. Uh, it's certified gluten-free and organic. I think I've already said that. Bags, I think they're 90 calories a bag or something like that. Put in half an organic banana. Then I'm also going to use this organic live fit super food blend with protein and it is vegan, soy free, gluten free, no sugars, artificial colors, blah blah blah, no sweeteners. This is actually our second bag. We've gone through this quite a bit. I'm going to use a heaping scoop of it, a pack of that fruit, half a banana and make an acai bowl. This is my breakfast. Girl put on some pounds during the holidays, so she's got to work that off. So here's my acai bowl all put together. I just took half of a banana, sliced it up, put it on top, and then some gluten-free vegan granola, sprinkled that on top as well, and that was my breakfast. For my lunch, I'm going to just do some rice cakes. These are um, organic puffed cakes. Uh, they are made with spelt. Spelt, yeah, whole ancient grain spelt. They're sodium free, cholesterol free, fat free, sugar free, USD organic, non-GMO. Avocado, I'm also going to be using the Just a Little Spice granulated uh, garlic and the Just a Little Spice granulated onion. Gluten free, organic, so yummy. And then also the Trader Joe's tomato basil hummus. These spices I am so in love with. Um, I was sent them and have been using them ever since and really loving them. I'm going to be using them also to make my dinner this evening. And I will go into more detail this evening. They are so good. They are all natural, non-GMO, organic, gluten-free, amazing, just a little spice. So I just spread that Trader Joe's hummus all over the spelt cakes, sliced up a little avocado, sprinkled the just a little spice garlic and onion, and also some black pepper on top, and that was it. Uh, just a little spice was so awesome and offered a 15% off coupon code for me to give to you guys, so that will be down below in the description box. And for my snack today, I'm just going to have this organic food bar. Um, Raw Revolution. It is organic, gluten-free, non-GMO, kosher, vegan. It has omega-3 and 6. 5 grams of fiber, 7 grams of protein. And like I said, organic, non-GMO. Anyways, that's going to be my snack. And then I'm also going to have this kombucha, kombucha, whatever, organic and raw turmeric. Turmeric's really good for you. I take turmeric in pill form. Um, but anyways, or turmeric, people call it different things. And this is the cauliflower rice. I got this at Costco. It came in a two-pack. Um, it is organic and non-GMO and BPA-free, gluten-free. And I eat the entire packet. The entire packet, I think, is 100 calories, I believe. I think so. And it makes quite a bit. I, I usually get the one from Trader Joe's. But like I said, I found this at Costco. So I'm going to and I just mix it up. I really like this one because they're chunkier. I don't know why. I just, I like it because it's chunkier. <laughs> Probably sound weird to some. But anyhow, and then what I do is I throw the lid on top and I leave it cooking for a while. And I come back and just check it periodically. And these are the spices that I added to the um, riced cauliflower. I sprinkled in granulated onion, granulated garlic, and this Herbes de Provence. Um, I have been obsessed with these spices. I fell in love with these. They don't use any aluminum, no agents, no fillers, no gluten, no GMOs, no grains, no soy, no preservatives, no sugar. 
it's all natural, like the purest form. And the garlic is the garlickiest garlic I have ever had or tried in my life, and so is the onion. It is so good, and the Herbes de Provence is such an awesome blend. They have, like I said, blends like this Herbes de Provence. I also got Chipotle chili powder, which is my fiance's favorite. It has such a smoky, it almost smells like barbecue, but then it's spicy with the chili powder. I'm actually going to be using it today in what I'm making, and I'll show you guys. Oh my god, it is so good. And it's his favorite. It's spicy. Let me tell you, if you like spice, it gives you a kit, girl. Um, and he absolutely loves spice. But this company, just a little spice. Like I said, they did send this to me. But I'm always 100% honest with you guys. When I love something, I'm going to share it. So here is the finished product. Basically what you see on top is just something I kind of threw together. It's a pack of the lentils from Trader Joe's and I just mixed in some red beans and just mixed them together. Added in the just a little spice. Um, you can see what's sprinkled on top is the, um, the Herbes de Provence and also I mixed in their Chipotle uh, spice as well that I showed you guys there at the end so that you can see kind of sprinkled on top. I mix it all together. Actually, I added in the onion powder as well and the garlic powder, mix it all together. And that's what you see sitting on top of the riced cauliflower. It probably doesn't look very appetizing, but it was so freaking good. That part of me making it and showing you guys got deleted and I don't know why, but it did. I'm so bummed out. And you guys definitely check out just a little spice. The company is so awesome. It's a family owned business and they're just an amazing company. Like I said, it's all natural, and the story behind them starting it was so touching to me. It really hit home because, for those of you who know me, I lost my dad to cancer a couple of years ago, and um, the starter of the company, she basically was diagnosed with breast cancer, and obviously their world was turned upside down. And just like I did, um, in the midst of that for them, they basically reevaluated everything in life and wanted to take on a healthier lifestyle. And basically, that's what I did after my dad, unfortunately, was diagnosed and passed away. It was such an eye opener for me and made me look into things, you know, that have pesticides and just stuff that you're putting into your bodies, which made me start to eat more organic and non GMO. And hence, what they did um, with this company as well, where they wanted to do organic and clean eating, and they started this company. Anyhow, it's just an awesome company. Check them out. Um, I just really, truly, I love the spices. I will put the link down below in the description box for you guys to check them out. Give this video a thumbs up if you guys want to continue to see what I eat in a day videos. Please be kind to each other always, and I will see you guys in another video soon. Bye.